Did you guys see the comedian Tony Hinchcliffe at the Trump rally in New York? Helen Keller and Joe Biden on his worst day could have did a better routine than that. That dude offended every single group in the country, including the white folks. He just embarrassed them. Between this dude and Amber Rose, I knew the next speaker up would have been the Cookie Monster. At least we know where the Cookie Monster really stands and what he really wants. You know, a lot of Trump supporters still typically remind me of the cast of the Dukes of Hazzards. Could you imagine Roscoe P. Coltrane bringing up this Tony Hinchcliffe guy to the stage at the rally? Baby Roscoe P. Coltrane. And next we're going to bring up to the stage Mr. Tony Hinchcliffe. Come on, good buddy. <laughs> Two minutes into the set, Roscoe was like, G -g -g Give me that mic. Tony, you dip stick. <laughs> that dude would mess up the first line to the happy birthday song. But again, a black man saved the day. The only joke they laughed about was a P. Diddy joke. At least P. Diddy has the title of being the life of the party, even though now he's getting life. Unlike this Tony guy, he's the life of the party at the library. Everybody knows that this Tony guy is 100% a Democrat, and he was made by Democrats. He is living proof that Democrats take their women and make them into me. I wonder if this Tony guy eats that fruit that when you bite it, it kind of escapes in your mouth. You see, I don't need that kind of fruit because, you know, they'll take you and lock you up in a closet or something. 